You ever think that, like, whenever you eat a, you ever think that, like, fruits are just, like, ball sacks? <clears throat> like, I mean, we also call them, like, nut sacks. I mean, like, we might just be subconsciously, like, putting some. Well, either way, but, like, think of it this way, like, have you ever seen, have you ever seen, like, an avocado, right? If you ever seen an avocado, you cannot tell me that that doesn't look like some wrinkly ass balls. And you might be thinking, oh, well, Goji, what about uh, like uh, bananas? Like, I've seen some long ass balls. You ever seen those motherfuckers that got balls that they can fucking swing across their neck like a goddamn sling? Like, motherfuckers be dragging their balls like through their jeans and shit. Like, it's it's not uncommon. So like, or like if and you're like, Ooh, what about grapes? And I'm like, that's many pairs of balls, motherfuckers. Like, think of this, right? They're full of seeds, right? They got a little bit of meat and then they got an outer skin, right? That is exactly what balls are. All right, like you got that little outer coating of balls, and then on the inside you got the meat. And then inside that meat, you got the seeds. I mean, like, we're kind of different because, like, tubing, but I think it's just, like, it's kind of just floating there. It's like a like a mango, you know? But, like, like if we mixed mango and papaya, you know? Like, uh, if we took, like, the outer shell of the mango pit and then filled it with papaya seeds, that's kind of what, yeah, that's a ball sack. Yeah, that's exactly what a ball sack is. Like, I don't know how... Like, I don't know if anybody else thought of this. But, like... Yeah. And, like... You may be... I'm gonna talk about, like, shit that you might bring up to prove me wrong. Like a... Like a dragon fruit. Or some shit. Like, that's just, like, dragon balls. Wait. Wait, dragon ball? <laughs> All you gotta do is go, go free to so dragon show. Yeah, you bite into some Dragon Balls. Baddragon.com, motherfucker. Um, Kiwis. Nah, nah, that's just tiny hairy balls. Uh, papayas. I've seen balls like that. Coconuts. That kind of looks like my balls. Uh,. I think of some fruit that one might bring up. Just be like, ooh, actually, that's kind of wrong. Fruits cannot be considered ball sacks of the tree because, just look at it, that is not what balls look like. Uh, uh, I can't think of nothing. I mean, I think that all plants, I think we would just torture the shit out of all plants. Like, um, coconut trees, right? Back to coconuts. Like, you know, we weave out of their thing. Like, is it coconut? I'm pretty sure it's coconut. Or at least, like, palm trees, what we do is we take off the leaves and we strip the leaves and then we make hats and shit out of it. So, part of me thinks, like, that's the tree's hair or some shit like that, right? So you're kind of like putting on a wig. Like that should just be torture. Like could you imagine if like some like fucking, I don't know, cat or something. Because you know trees are much bigger than human. Whatever. Like think of some cat just came along with fucking scissors and tweezers and just plucked like half your hair out. So you look like goddamn Bart Simpson. And then it just makes a little... And then it makes a wig out the hair that it pulled off you and puts on his head. Motherfucker be walking down the street with your hairstyle. Like, that's just... That'd be terrifying, you know? Or, um... Hmm. I don't know, I think that's the only thing that's, like, tame enough for me to talk about without getting dark. But, like... Yeah, you know, can you imagine that, like, just taking your fucking balls 
and then eating it in front of because I've taken fruit like right off of a tree and eaten it under the same tree. Like how terrifying you think that? That'd be the same as like if someone were to, like rip off your nipple and then just like like right in front of you. That sounds kind of hot, actually. Hmm. And also, like, uh, I don't know if this is, if anybody else has done this, but if you're a man, right, do you ever, like, look at your own nipple? You know, just to check if there's a hole there. Because some days I look, and it looks like there's a hole, and sometimes I look, and there's no hole there. You know what? Has anybody noticed, like, at least, at least mine, right, the wrinkles on my nipple change every so often? Like, every time I look at my nipple, it's changed somehow. I don't know how, but, like, it has, I don't know, yeah, and if you're checking your nipple right now, then, uh, yeah, does it look any different from the last time, yeah, just pretend that I can hear you, say it out loud, did it change at all, oh, what's that, all oh, your hair fell off, oh, what's that, you don't have nipples, what the fuck, <laughs> uh, another thing that changes every time I look at it, my fingerprints. I don't know, maybe I just don't remember what my fingerprints look like, but I swear to God, I look at my own, my middle finger the most out of all my finger. I don't know why. I think it's because it's so far out in the most that <laughs> that it gets bust, it gets bust up the most. But I swear to God, every time I look at my finger, the fingerprint ain't ever the same. Like, could I just do a crime and as long as I lay low for a little bit, I'll never get found out? Oh, fuck. Why you gotta do this to me, man? There's a sneeze that acts like it wants to be sneezed, but it won't sneeze, you son of a bitch. Let me sneeze. <clears throat> man, I'm tired. You know what? I feel like, no, I was going to say, I feel like that, actually, yeah, you know what, the nose on a human being is, like, the weirdest shit, because, like, every other creature, right, it either has, like, just a couple nose, I mean, <laughs> a couple holes in its face, birds, I'm not even sure birds have noses, I'm not even sure birds have noses, like, lizards, right, they just got holes in their face, Freaking uh, apes don't have big noses. Dogs and shit just went crazy with the fucking noses. They're just like, when we like, became part of their mouth. But like, how come humans? My door open? Nah. But how come humans are the only creatures on Earth, right? That has a nose. That is, or snout that is separate from the mouth. Like, that was crazy. I realized how loud I was talking. That freaked the hell out of me. Uh, what's that? Eight minutes? Eh. I know, I think I can talk a little bit more. Uh, yeah, sorry if you keep getting blasted with wind. That's my electric fan. Because the air conditioner, by the way, like, air conditioner, sometimes I get scared to use air conditioner. Because I live on an island, right? And, I don't know, I feel like I want to, you know, stay in the heat. Because air conditioner is conditioning you to colder weather. And it's not cold outside. So, I, sometimes I just turn it off and go natural anyway. And just turn it on when I'm about to go to bed. I mean, I would do that, but... Apparently, once the air conditioner got put in, apparently everybody wants to be in my fucking room now. I hate that. I hate that so much. It's like, because like, back when I didn't have an aircon, I had like two fans. Ain't nobody be in my fucking room. Like, nobody would come in. They were like, oh, it's hot, it stinks, it's dirty. Then the minute that they put it in, they're like, oh, you know, uh, we live here too. And I'm like, no, you didn't, motherfucker. Or some, they never said that, but like, I assume that they think that now. 
But it's like, shit. <laughs> Leave me alone, you assholes. Not really, because... Yeah, I think that's the only reason that they never came in is because it was hot. But then, I don't know. And, you know, I feel like I, I have to start traveling now. Because all my life, never left a Pacific island. You know, I can't, I was born in one Pacific island. And I had to migrate to another Pacific island. I feel like I have to go up to, you know, where the snow treaders live. At least, just for a little bit. You know, enough to get conditioned to it. You know, because I feel like if I don't get conditioned to colder weather, if I don't get conditioned to colder weather by the time that, you know, I'm like 21 or something old enough to drink, uh, if I don't get conditioned to colder weather by the time I'm, you know, old, I don't think I'll ever survive. Because as it is right now, I don't think I'll, I don't think I'm going to survive the winter anyway. Like, I feel if you were to drop me in the ice right now, like, in the snow, even if I had, like, fucking uh, winter jackets and shit like that, I think I'd just die of frost. Now, I need to go up north. Um, maybe I could start out in L.A., just because that place is hot, and then I could just work my way up. And I know that, like, L.A., I know that California isn't that hot. Like... I know it's a lot colder than, than Guam, but it's still kind of hot. And if I, hey, what are you doing? Cut it out. You're freaking me out. Yeah. But then, like, <laughs> what was I talking about? Like, I want to go up to Alaska. I want to go up to Russia, actually. I just want to go to a place where snow is abundant. But I think that I could get along in Russia. Because, like, I don't know. And I don't know if anybody would ever get mad at me for this, but I expect that someone might. Like, what, you're going to go hang out with fucking communists? You're going to go hang out with as a dictator? Like, dude, I don't give a fuck. You know, like, I'm already getting dictated over in America. I don't give a fuck. Like, <clears throat> I don't... E like, for a second, when I was in Payless, for some reason, I was like, wait, who the fuck, who's running the country? Who's the president? Who won the election? Well, then, like, because it's like, it doesn't really matter to me. Like, you have complete control over what I do anyway, so it doesn't matter. In fact, whoever's the president doesn't matter. It's whoever's in this house that's older than me is who has the power. So, like, if I was to go to Russia, I want to go to Russia, like, on my own. You know, just hang out. Just want to hang out, you know? Like, uh... Fuck. I remembered it, like, three minutes ago. Now I don't remember the word for it. But it's the one that the Russians use. It's the ones that Slavs use for, like, just the dudes that squat outside. I know there was a word for it. I used it, like, four times a day. Now I don't remember what the fuck the word was. Uh, but it's, like, it's like the homies. It's not comrade. But, like, you know, like, I don't know. I feel like I could get along in Russia. Like, I'll just be squatting with the bros, with the homies. Привет, комрад Годзи. Take a sip of hot borscht and we sit here and choose Sinuski. In fact, he doesn't even need to speak in. Привет, кискевляк, сынеский, вайскевайо. And I'll be like, fuck yeah, man, yeah. We we create piss deck wherever we go, yeah, man. Like, man could be talking about his taxes, I'll be like, hell yeah, bro. Like, <laughs> I don't know, I just feel like I could get along really well in Russia. Maybe even Germany. I could get along well in Germany. Like, I walk up to a bunch of, I don't know the German word for friend, but I could watch, walk up to a bunch of German homies drinking beer and eating sausage. I'm like, yo, what's up? I'm like, guten tag. 
guten tag good friends and they're like that's not the right language i'm like fuck <laughs> no, no. yeah you know i feel like i could get along anywhere in europe the real problem would be like africa or some shit i mean i'm not gonna go to africa this is like against the point that i'm trying to do but like if i were to go to africa i might get along there too like i'll just sit there with a whole bunch of other people I'll just be like, yo, what's good? Like, I feel like I could get along with anybody if I just sit there. Because, like, it does work. Like, I do just walk up to random groups of people and just sit down and I get along. Like, um, one time, uh, there were a bunch of sports kids and, like, none of them were paying attention. And I just sort of sat next to them and sort of laughed at shit <laughs> and then like they called me bro and like they were not they're not like me where they call everyone bro they're like only they only say bro to like their friends I sat there and then like I don't know we, then we were like friends and shit yo what's up man who the fuck was that guy I don't fucking know <laughs> like I don't know. I I just said like I don't know like fifty fucking times. I feel like because I'm tired and because I'm going up off the top of my head. I feel like I feel like I'm turning into a white girl. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie. And then like uh, hmm. you know, one group of people that I really want to get along with emos and goths like i'm good at it with like online right i see an emo i see a goth i'm like yo let me get up in that and they're like okay okay wait no let me do a good better impression okay okay like because i may not be an overpowering force but i'm just you know there my presence is felt wherever I go. And I make sure that shit, like, you don't have to acknowledge me, but I want you to know that I am there, you know? I, I don't know. That's, that's kind of dumbass thing to say. Kind of a gross thing to say, too, honestly. But, uh, like, that's why I dress the way that I do. It's supposed to be shocking. Like, oh, what the fuck? Like, I'm supposed to catch your eye. And that's why I'm... That's also why I wear shades uh, all the time. It's because... Well, not only because I, I have a... I have a thing about eye contact. I don't do it. If anything, I make, like, face contact. But other than that, I look, like, past you or through you. And that might weird people out. But like with shades, you also can't tell where I'm looking. And I really like that. Because like, you could just keep your nose for... Like, whenever you're looking at something and you want people to know that you're looking at it, you just point your nose at it. You know? Like, I could be looking straight forward, but then I'm also staring right into your eye. Like... I think that that's pretty sick. Because um, when I wear normal glasses and you catch me staring at you, I'm going to be like, oh shit. And then look away. But like, if I'm wearing shades, I could still be staring at you and you wouldn't even know. But I'd still look away, like, out of respect because that's like a flinch. Like, ah shit. But then, like, it's also it's also weird because, then, like, I I'll put on I'll put on my my normal glasses, and then I can't. Then I have to like make eye contact, because you see, a lot of times when I talk to people, I don't even really raise my head. I just sort of turn at them, like um, just just today, um, I was sitting down at the bank. And some lady came to ask if I needed help. And 
I didn't raise my head to look her in the face. I just sort of turned in her direction and looked through her gut. And I was like, nah. Because I didn't. And, I don't know, part of me thought that maybe she might think I'm weird because I didn't, like, look up. And, I, like, I was wearing normal glasses, so I can't, like, say, oh, I'm, I'm blind or some dumb shit like that. I can't pull that. So, I don't know, I think that's, I think that's kind of weird. <clears throat> um, another thing is that I'm kind of self-conscious about how many white hairs I have. Because I've got a couple, I counted like three so far. And it's not self-conscious as in I hate it. It's self-conscious as in I don't want to get rid of it. Because, <clears throat> yeah, you know, I feel like with the way that I dress, you know, because it's not flamboyant, but it, it is meant to catch your eye. Like, because the reason I dress the way that I dress is because I want you to know what I'm about. Like, without even having to talk. I don't know, maybe because I'm an artist. Or, you know, I design shit. But I want you to know what the deal is the minute you see me. You're like, oh, he's fucking weird. So then you just move on without, you know, having to think about it. And I think that the white hair adds a little something to it. Like, oh, he either he's really old... And it's trying to look young. I mean, and, but that's like off the table because my face already tells you I don't have age lines yet. But then you can be, oh, he must be really stressed out at at least three points of his life. I don't know how white hairs work. I just know that you get stressed and then you get them. But then another thing is like, I don't know if there's any white hairs on the back of my head because I'm only counting like the stuff that I can see. Like, I hope that there's not, like, 50 fucking black hairs at the back of my... Uh, black, white hairs at the back of my head and only three at the front. Because then... But even then, that might tell you something. Because I feel like if I were to draw that, it would be like... Well, that's because... You know, he puts all the pain in the back of his head. Or something like that. Oh boy, that got really intimate. I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh my god, I keep blowing into the fucking mic. I'm, I'm so sorry. It's just that uh, I giggle at my own things just to confirm that it was funny. Because a lot of times, like, uh, I don't know, I try to specialize. I, I've been trying to practice um, saying things with a straight face. Like, uh, that guy in Airplane, he actually got the role because... You know, he was a serious actor, but he wanted to do more comedic roles. So what they did is, uh, they only hired him because every other actor would try to like, <laughs> like every time that they were trying to say something funny, but the writers were like, no, the jokes on their their own are fine. We just want you to say them normal. And he was the only guy that could do that because, you know, he was a serious actor. Like, I want to do that. Because I want to just take, I want it to sound like I take everything seriously, but you shouldn't, you know? Because I do that, like, sometimes when someone's talking to me and they're saying, like, important shit, but then I hear something weird or dumb or funny, I giggle. Like, um, <laughs> oh my god. Like, I don't know how many times it happened, I don't remember any, like, specific things. But I just know that sometimes teachers or people in power, authority, they will say something that sounds dumb out of context, and I'll giggle halfway through them talking to me, and I'll be like, oh, f <laughs> I'm like, oh god, I'm so sorry. It's just that you said something that kind of sounded like penis, <laughs> and then I'll giggle for the next like 20 minutes. <laughs> I'll giggle for the next 20 minutes. But, like, a lot of times, uh, they don't get it. Like, because I say outrageous shit, and I have to giggle or something, chuckle, just to let you know I'm kidding, though. Um, but sometimes they still don't get Like, that's why I don't like family functions. Not because my family have a shitty sense of humor, 
but because they just give me nothing to work with. Like, I will make a joke in front of them, and they'll just look at me like, you can't see my face, but you know what face I'm making, where it's like just dead. And then when they do laugh, it's like, <laughs> like not even obvious, it's like, <laughs> I'm like, okay. But then like, uh, then they'll laugh at shit that I get, but it's like, meh. You know, my, my mom is a firm believer, and you know what, it's true, but, okay, so, I'm always funny when I'm not trying, and like, that's really true, because a lot of my comedy is like reactionary, like, that's why if I'm ever going to do comedy, I want to be in a duo or something, I just want something to bounce off of, you know? And, because I'm not good at, alright, two dudes walking to a bar, you know, that sort of shit. I'm more like, someone else says something, I'm like, ha ha, penis, and then boom, I don't know, uh, 20 minutes, holy fuck, this is crazy, I'm gonna let you go now, bye.